I'm here with Penny Brendan, owner of The Connecting Experts, and she's going to share the top three mistakes people make and how to avoid them. Penny, tell me about these mistakes. Networking is always challenging for everybody. It is. But what are we doing wrong? Well, I think that a lot of times what so many people do is they just show up. Mm -hmm. They just show up. They, they don't have any intention of, of what they uh. want to do or who they want to meet. And you know, really, the, the, when you have a good message, so a good message, being intentional about your networking mm -hmm. and just being brave are three things that you can do to make the networking experience a whole lot better. Yeah. And you know, when you just show up somewhere, um, you never know who you're gonna meet, but if you're not prepared, so you wouldn't just hop in your car and say, okay, I'm gonna, gonna drive. I'm gonna drive to Vail. <laughs> Let's drive. I mean, you have to, <laughs> and you just moved here. You don't know where Vail is, right? right? You have to get the map out. You have to figure out how long it's gonna take mm -hmm. you. And you know, if it's snowy, you wanna, you know, I mean, you just, you have to yeah. be prepared. Go with the plan. I love the term that you used, intention. And you know, that's one of the things that I really tried to focus on is actually knowing what I'm after, knowing exactly you know, if you don't know your goals, you're just gonna end up somewhere. You're gonna end up somewhere, you're moving. <laughs> you're gonna yes. get somewhere, but is it is it where you want it to be? Right. Yeah. And you know, networking takes time and money and effort. Yes. And if you're gonna spend your time, your money and your effort, then you should put some, a little bit of thought into it. Yes. And so, you know, if you're a, um, uh, if you're a realtor, who are your power partners? Like, who do you want to meet? What's a power partner? That's a good. That's a good terminology. So, a power partner would be someone who um, has the same target audience, mm -hmm. but is in not in direct competition with you, but in partnership with you. So, okay, a so great they're example. talking to the same people. Mm -hmm but they're not doing the same business. Correct. Okay. So like a realtor and a mortgage broker. Yeah. Great power partner. That's, uh, that's an amazing combination. Mm -hmm. And so when you go somewhere, you want to know who it is that you want to, to meet mm -hmm. and have that person like visualize that person in your, in your, in your mind. Mm -hmm. And visualization is really, really important for people to, um, you know, to be able to get what it is that they want to go there for. Yeah. Right. And so I, also, once you get there, to have a good message. Yes. So to be intentional and not, um, I call it throwing up all over someone. We've all had that experience where, <laughs> where you've actually gone to a networking event and someone says, well, hi, my name's Penny and I blah, 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 blah. And, you know, <laughs> Just vomiting their whole resume at you. It is, it so, is. So that value statement or the 30 second, some people call it the 30 second elevator speech, is that what you mean to kind of have something like that? Yes, and you know, you don't want to just blurt out your 30 second promotional, you want right. it to be like a kind of a conversational uh, piece where when you have something written down, mm -hmm. which comes to 30, you know, to your 30 second promotional, to have it in your brain where you can just take different pieces of that yeah. when you're in a conversation with someone. And it kind of goes along with you being intentional. So you know who it is, you know mm -hmm. what it is that you're gonna say. And then, you know, really being, being brave in being able to talk to people that you don't know. Yes, that's huge. So that, um, I still struggle with this, but I'd say that was one of my biggest struggles when it came to networking mm -hmm. was actually being able to just walk up and talk to somebody. I found that the easiest thing was to actually go up to groups versus individual people mm -hmm. because you can just kind of walk up to them and then eventually they, they go, okay, this girl is standing here with us. Maybe we should include her in the conversation. They kind of split open. <laughs> That's yes. my tactic. Well, and you know what's so interesting about that is that when you go to an event, why don't you try to do a little bit of research beforehand? Mm -hmm. Find out who the facilitator is. Smart. Go and talk to that person. And you know, another awesome thing to do when you go to a networking event, because they, they always typically have registration tables. Yes. And so those people that are behind the registration table, they know everybody. Oh, yeah, so it's like the do, administrative assistant at the front desk. Exactly. So you go up there, you're signing in, you're getting your little name tag, and you're uh -huh. saying, so, this is the first time I've ever been here. Yeah. Can you introduce me to Crystal? 
I want to, I've never met Crystal and this is Smart. my first time here. That's a great tip. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the other thing too is when you see someone who is has eyes as big as saucers and they're scared <laughs> to death and they're standing in the outskirts, mm -hmm. then you just want to go up and try to make that person feel a little bit better because they're scared. Yeah. Make a friend, you know, yes. give them an opportunity to connect. Well, and what that does is it makes you look like a rock star. Oh, yeah. Because you helped them because they were afraid and now you're friends. And this it's good. kind of an easy connection because it's like they were really looking for you and so you can probably make the connection a lot faster versus, you know, kind of trying my strategy of jumping into a conversation already going. Exactly. All right. And what was that third tip, that third uh, mistake that we make? So the third mistake is saying, what do you do? Oh my gosh, that that is my least favorite networking question. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what people do when they have never networked network, network before and they don't have a clue what to say or how right. to start a conversation. Yep. Yeah, that's like the first keynote. I know that they're not, um, not heavy networkers. Well, and so instead of doing that, say, gosh, is this your first time here or do you know anybody here? Right, start a conversation, so, yeah. like engage, mm -hmm. perfect. Well, thank you so much for those tips. That was so useful, and I'm going to start using them right away. Well, very good. Thank you so much, Crystal. Great to talk with you. Great to talk with you, too.